Well, it wasn't a matter of, but when. Texas A&M quarterback Johnny Manziel would make his decision to play at the next level. Good evening, I'm Matthew LeBlanc. And I'm Amanda Kenny. thank you for joining us. Today, Johnny Football sent a letter to Texas A&M's 12th man officially announcing that he will be leaving Aggieland for the NFL. Now, sports director Luke Simons joins us with our top story tonight. Hey, Luke. Matthew and Amanda, despite playing just two seasons as the quarterback of Texas A&M, Johnny Manziel has etched his name in the history books, not only as one of the best at A&M, but best in the nation. In his letter to the 12th man, Manziel explained how tough this decision was to leave Aggieland and the unique atmosphere of Kyle Field. He thanked the school, his teammates, coaches, and fans. He said he believes that despite his absence, the team will win a national championship in the near future. Manziel has been projected by many draft experts as a top five pick, and now he will begin the process of preparing for the NFL Combine and other workouts with NFL teams. Now coming up later in sports, I'll tell you what Johnny says was his only regret in Aggieland and let you know what Coach Summon also had to say as well. Matthew and Amanda. Thanks, Luke. And as news spreads about Manziel leaving for the NFL, some fans around Aggieland rejoiced and <laughs> others say, well, they cringe. Yeah, we continue our coverage with KAG's HD sports reporter, Chris Costa, who joins us in the studio. Chris. Matthew and Amanda, fans I caught up with today that say that while they're sad to see Johnny Football leave, they're happy to see a fellow Aggie taking his game to the next level. Top eight pick in the draft. It's cool. official. Aggieland's favorite quarterback is on his way to the NFL draft and fans have mixed feelings. But he's obviously become an icon in this town and it's just it's fun to see somebody that you know starts at this level move up to the next level and kind of see how their career blossoms. I don't know if he's quite ready. Uh, fresh, uh, he's coming fresh out of college. If he goes in I'd like to see him go in as a second string so he has someone to learn under. Manziel was the first ever freshman to win the Heisman Trophy in 2012 and he set a Texas A&M record this season with 4,114 passing yards, earning him a place in A&M history. For a long time, I think there were some fingers crossed that he would uh, change his mind or, or that, that he would decide to stay at Texas A&M for one more year. Even though Johnny Manziel won't play for the Maroon and White anymore, shirts like these are still in high demand. Whatever city he goes to, they'll be, you know, they'll be looking for the first chance to buy the, uh, the number two jersey. So, uh, and a lot of those fans will, will likely buy, you know, an A&M jersey. Still, fans can't wait to see how number two will perform at the game's highest level. And obviously, just watching him scramble with, you know, so much pressure in the backfield and still make plays, it's going to be interesting to see if he can do that, you know, at a professional level. Remembering the excitement he brought to Kyle Field and looking forward to more Johnny Football Magic in the pros. Now, some local stores I spoke with say that when Manziel is selected, they plan to carry his NFL jersey, whichever team that may be. Matthew and Amanda.